is in emerging yourself in new opportunities and making great memories with new friends and remembering that uni is here to better your future. Completely agree. Take it as a time to learn, grow and become the best of you. And where better place to do that than the second largest city in the UK and that has opportunities around every corner. It's great, right? So, Freshers' Week in Birmingham City. Wow, you can say it can get quite crazy. Um, so, me and Connor actually met in Freshers' Week last year. We have funny stories of what happened there. It was a great time. So, at the beginning of Freshers' Week, a little story about us. So, me and my friend Clyde had moved from Milton Keynes to Birmingham to study at BCU. We were excited to go out in Freshers' Week, but obviously he was a female, he was a male, and I was a female. So a lot of people thought we was together. Um, so we saw Connor, and I thought he was a great-looking guy. I then asked Clyde to become pretend he was gay. He pretended he was gay, and I went up to Connor and said, "Hi, are you gay? Because my friend is. Please let's chat." He wasn't greatly impressed by that. Um, he did. He sort of said, "I'm not gay. No, leave me alone." So tell you what amazes me, the amount of thought she went into going <laughs> into this and it still went horribly wrong. She thought this was going to work and that I was going to be like, yeah, I'm gay and we was going to get on and we was going to get together. But it didn't go in my favour. No, really. it was like, I thought she was asking a genuine question. So I politely just said no. But later on, when we came to meet each other later, that was apparently all a chat plan. Yeah, it really was, but it didn't go in my favour. So then I knocked at a door at a party, not knowing that Connor was there. Um, and who answered the door was Connor. Me. Um, so I was dressed as a cat, and my friend Clyde was dressed as a zebra. What did you think when you answered the door to us? First thing I thought was, this guy who fancies me is knocked on the door. And there's a <laughs> girl, the crazy girl who's friends with me is here as well. So I wasn't expecting the... Best part. So many events for no matter how you're like, no matter what personality you've got, there's something for everyone to enjoy. If you like to party like myself, then there's so many crazy nightclubs that you can go and dance until the morning. There's also organised bar crawls um, that you can meet tons of people there too. If you're more of the chilled character, then you'll be sure to check out fun quiz nights at the uni pub and open fair events that you can pop into as well. Just don't spend all of your student loan at once because student finance is a blessing and sometimes a curse at university. Completely agree. I've been there too many times myself. You need to be wise with this in your course, really. If you're paying for it especially and learning as a second year, you, you definitely need to make the most of that. Exactly. So earlier we asked you to tweet us in with some questions regarding uni life. Now we're going to answer some of those for you. So the first question we've got is, where are the best places to shop on a budget? Like I said, Aldi, because it's the cheapest place to go. Yeah. If you're more of a lazy shopper, I suggest you go to Asda. A no, you order from Asda because they'll come straight to your house. And they do the delivery, I see people they? come outside their accommodation in pajamas, and they seem to be loving life. And it's probably better because you're you're getting your monthly food shop at the exact same price, so it'll be help you m manage your money a lot better. Definitely do a big food shop. You're going to save so much money in the long run. It's so easy to just spend your money on takeaways. Um, yeah, it's easier to get takeaways and yeah, it's less cooking and stuff, but you don't want to spend all your money on that. You want to have time for experiences too. Exactly. What's our next question? The next question is, how would you deal with being homesick, Martin? I think that's a great question. So I think a lot of people suffer from this. Um, everyone actually, even myself. Um, some people love to come to university and get the freedom and they love to have their own house, go out what they wanted, when they want to mm -hmm. and it's great. But for some of us, when they've, when they've closed that door and their family's not there, it's quite difficult and it's quite daunting. You're in a new city and you're meeting new people. Um, you have to go out and face the world alone if you like. So just remember, everyone else is in, a, in the same boat. Talk to people, don't leave yourself lonely, don't stay in the room on your own. There's no point. Home is just a call away. If you're lucky enough like myself, we can FaceTime, we can do calls. You as well, you're close to home, you can always visit. I'm close to home, I just go and... Very quickly, you guys are on a roll. OK, so the next question is, what is the name of the police officer in popular children's show, Balamori? That's PC Plum. Yes, well, Greg, <laughs> 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 Okay, so what is. Oh, what is it? 
to a rush for an answer. I have no Anything? idea. Anything mm. that comes to mind? Is that whiskey? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the answer was Churchill. Oh. So, okay, last question. Who created cho the children's book character Tracy Beaker? Oh, man. Quickly. Jack yeah. and Wilson. Oh. Uh, and that was correct. That was correct. Oh. Okay, the next one. Third search. Fast food. Fast food. That okay, is. We'll take, take that. Yeah, we'll take, take away. That. We'll take that. That's that correct. correct. Well done. Oh, Okay, so, how many colours are in the rainbow? Harry Potter's pet owl. Hedwig. Correct! Well done. Hedwig it is. Oh, Christmas. Come on. come on. Christmas lights, Christmas presents. Christmas? That's correct, Easy guys. It Christmas. Was Christmas. <laughs> hey, guys, <laughs> next question is well done, guys. How many years are in a millennium? Millennium. Oh, yeah. Thousand. Correct! Wow, that was nice and quick. Nice Jeez, you guys are getting it, getting it. doing well. Come what do you all see? Oh, it's big cats. Cats. Cats! cats. Correct! Yes. Well done, well done. <laughs> oh, no, well done, guys. OK, guys, so what is the distance around a circle? Yeah, the circumference. Correct! Oh, it is didn't the you was listening your mouth. So what do you guys think, this. Geronimo? Man United. Man United is correct. Oh, well done. Oh, Time for a couple that. more questions. Okay, so what is the name of the boy who visits Willy Wonka's chocolate factory? Oh, oh. Charlie. Well, Charlie. Charlie in the chocolate factory. Nice. That's nice one. Charlie. You're so close. Huh? Charlie. Okay. Oh. Can we guess? Uh, Charlie. Okay, we're going to do the Go next ahead. question. <laughs> it was Charlie Bucket. Was Charlie Bucket. Okay, Bucket. last so question. What is the name yeah. of the fairy in Peter Pan? Um, I don't know. We're going to have one more after oh, this as well. Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell is correct. Well done. Let's see the picture, guys. Chinese New Year. Chinese Dragon. It's, it's, a, a, it's a film. Japan. Oh, oh Mulan. Russia. Mulan. Well done. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. right. Well, <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Why did I think okay, guys, I think so what colour are Smurfs? Blue. Blue. Blue is correct. Oh, nice and quick. Is that Pixar? Pixar? Well, correct. Yeah, Pixar. Yeah, yeah. 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 We've got yeah. one yeah. more question, guys. So okay. What is the Tom. name for the bell that lives inside the clock tower in London? Oh, um, the. Quick, quick. The Tower of London. No. no. What is it? Big, Big, Big Ben. Big Ben. Big Ben, quick. That's amazing. Oh. Got 15 seconds. They said the bell. Um, um, that's cool. Cool. The farm. Um, oh. Oh, what, the oh, rock. The diamond. A diamond. Is that? Does that? That's easy. Five seconds Quickly, left. guys. The rock. Uh, Two. Rock band. No. One. Okay. Metal. Time is out. It Zero. was the rock. Time is out, guys. It was but the rock. Did I say the rock? Yeah, okay, the rock. so the winners the with 150 points is Dramino. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening from whatever side of the world you may be from. My name is Kingsley Ogbonna. I have here with me today, Greg. Yo, yo, yo. Thank you hello. for that little hello right there. And this is Going Into Black History, the first of four episodes exploring different subtopics within black history in support of Black History Month. In today's episode, we will be discussing influential historical figures along with our own experiences and personal backgrounds as black individuals. Let me begin by asking, what does Black History Month mean to you? It's a time for me to, you know, reflect on how far black people have come. Uh, we've come a long way. Uh, a lot of people have died for the cause. So for me, it's almost like a remembrance time. Mm -hmm. You know how um, people, they'll take a minute out, you know, just to um, show appreciation to, you know, war people. They take that minute. So for me, it's the same equivalent with Black History Month. Okay, I understand, I understand. And obviously me being a black individual as well, I can relate to the struggles just as much as you can, as much as anyone else can. And, you know, our parents, like, they came straight from, you know, their homelands. It was a struggle for them to bring us over here to be able to, you know, we didn't have to 